front-end development is more than just implementing designs with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Vue, Angular, all these frameworks, all these technologies. I had an interesting question recently on TikTok where somebody asked, what does a company need front-end developers for when they already have a website? My response to this person was that a website or web development generally has so many moving pieces. So in this video, I'll be sharing a non-exhaustive list of nine responsibilities that are associated to front-end development. Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dillion, and on my space, I share my experiences in my technical career as a software engineer, a developer, advocate, and a content creator. And I also share my experiences in my life. So if these are things you'd love to see more of, then kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. As I said earlier in this video, I'll be sharing nine responsibilities that can be associated to front-end development. And this may be different per company i mean not every company may apply these nine responsibilities for front-end developers some companies may even dedicate some parts of these responsibilities to another team but on a general scale these are nine things that i believe front-end developers would be responsible for in different companies the first item on the list which is kind of the obvious one is implementing designs this can be using frameworks like react javascript angular Vue, or even HTML or CSS, the designer does a design of how a home page should look like, how different components, how different assets, how different pages should look like, and the front-end developers will be responsible for implementing this on the company's website, managing it with GitHub or managing it with any version control system. But aside this, there are more to what front-end developers are responsible for. The second item on my list is responsiveness. Let's say a website has a desktop version which is kind of smooth and even even easy to use well not every user of a company's product would be on a desktop some of them may be using tablet some of them may be using mobile phones in most cases it will always be the front-end developers responsibility to convert or to create a responsive version such that each user in different devices can have the same feel and can have a smooth experience while using the company's website the third item on my list is that front-end developers would also be responsible for collaborating with back-end developers or utilizing the APIs that are created or that are to be created. Utilizing APIs can be for different reasons. It can be for making API requests to add some data, to modify some data, to delete some data. It could also be for cases like managing authentication. You know, all of this client-server communication, the front-end developers will be communicating with the back-end developers to ensure that there is a smooth exchange of information between the browser and the server. The fourth responsibility of front-end developers in most companies is writing tests for the applications that they create. Tests are very important because so many things can go wrong. Your users can enter the data that you may not expect them to enter, or they may try to do something that you may not expect them to do. Or it could be various unfortunate or unexpected situations that can happen. So front-end developers would also want to write tests for any frameworks that they are building on, any technology that they're building on. They write tests, creating different assertions, like when a user does this, they should see this. If a user does that, they should see this. If this happens, that should happen. If this data is entered into the form, this should happen. All of these things, front-end developers would also be responsible. So even if they may have already built the interface and it looks nice and all, because you do not want your application to break in production and keep your users on hold or your services on hold, you also want to write tests. The fifth responsibility of most front-end developers in companies is for them to also optimize the web application. Optimizing the web application in this case is by reducing the page load time and they can do this by maybe optimizing the images or optimizing the use of resources so they can do things like minimizing JavaScript bundles, minimizing CSS bundles, production bundles, like just unnecessary resources that are not used in production, they can take them away during the build process. So they would have to set up a system for that. There are different mechanisms, there are different tools you can use. There are different ways you can write your code. Yeah, there are just different approaches to optimizing web applications. Front-end developers might also be responsible for this. So they may have built the UI, they may have made it responsive, they may have written the test for it, but to also improve user experience on 
that website or web application, it also needs to be optimized. The sixth responsibility of most front-end developers and companies is ensuring that websites are accessible. There are different users that use this application. Some of them may have some form of disability or some form of challenges. Maybe their mouse is not working. Maybe their screen is not clear. It could be one thing or the other. In some cases, a company may have a dedicated team for accessibility, but on a general scale, front-end developers should also have that knowledge and have that experience with creating accessible websites, adding the alt tags, using semantic HTML. Everything should just follow the normal flow to make it accessible by all users. The seventh responsibility of front-end developers in most companies is also troubleshooting website problems. So you may have written test or something may have happened, but then your customer has this rough experience, they have this unexpected problem, something is not just working, an API is not called, something is breaking, I mean it could be a number of problems or bugs. Front-end developers would also be responsible for troubleshooting these problems and providing solutions to these problems immediately. The eighth item on my list is that most front-end developers would also be responsible for adding interactivity or even adding more features to existing websites. They may be adding more pages to the website, adding more elements, more buttons, more images, more diagrams, or it could even be interactivity or animations. In fact, animation is kind of like a skill on its own. You may be a front-end developer, you may not have so many animation skills, and you may be a front-end developer and you'll be required to have so many animation skills like using frameworks like gsap or i mean i think there are a number of libraries you can use the last item on my list which is number nine is creating email templates this could be email templates for product announcements it could be for release announcements it could be what are we lacking in our website all those kind of feedback emails it could be for a number of ideas in some companies they may have a dedicated team for email templates or they could even outsource it or they could just buy an already existing template but some front-end developers may also be responsible for this so this is a non-exhaustive list of nine responsibilities and it could be different by company by company like i said earlier there are so many moving pieces in front-end development and it's not just implementing designs with HTML or with your favorite frameworks. There are so many things happening in websites, even down to the network resources, down to bundling, down to security. There are just so many things. So yeah, front-end development has more things than you think. If you are the kind of person who used to think that front-end development was just this, then maybe you have learned more things that front-end developers can be responsible for in different companies. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Also, subscribe. I would appreciate your support. And you can share this with anybody who you feel needs to know more about front-end development. Peace.